finding your voice what if the stars were the sun and the sun the stars or what if the moon was the sun and the sun the moon what if black was white and white was black or copper was gold and gold was copper what if the seed was the fruit and the fruit the seed or the sky the ground and the ground the sky what if the seas were the land and the land the seas what if you were me and I was you I can only imagine that but what if you were just you you see I'm not here to entertain but to entertain so of your minds and break you open to the reality of who you should be so quit asking haggers to carry your child Sarah lest we continue to have ish males in the world instead of real males everything becomes ish ish when you do not walk in your purpose so what if you were just you for in your tomb your womb can still carry a purpose and birth a new identity quit denying your purpose and who you are peter lest the rooster crows on you to beat a weapon teachers of the law quit playing hypocrisy cause like hippos chris could not understand why according to national geographic channel they only spent up to 16 hours per day in water so i also cannot understand why you can just be you for the rest of your life you see the rest of your life outside your purpose to just be cause of rest in peace calling you to your grave cause the wages of sin is death and walking in another man's lane or purpose is a sin yet trespassing but you could not see all that cuz you think you at rest with god as long as you preaching when you went court to or as long as you stood on the pulpit when you were called to just make clean the house of god so then what if you were just you take a break from the world and get into the word a little bit to find your voice or you will be dancing to the beat of this world so bitterly and frustrated you see the breaks that you take could prevent you from crashing into sin it doesn't matter the magnitude of inertia you experience just hurt as much and hit the breaks cuz you do not have eternity in this world You see the difference between the world and the word is a little L limit We are bound in time limited in this world but he placed eternity in our hearts so that we could live with him in his world infinity is almost eternity you see what really matters is matter anything you can touch or see cuz matter proves the existence of time when something is invisible to our eyes it does not exist in time but he alone took a section of eternity and gave us that time time is not a clock on a wall tick 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 or a watch on your wrist for the only measure time time is life the measure of your existence what you do with your time is what you do with your life so then what if you were just you I charge you oh sons and daughters of our generation put yourself on a scale and weigh yourself is it really you that we see or someone's shadow but don't create any balance cuz you wouldn't want to be embarrassed for the rest of your life that you lived someone's life and not yours so take a moment and be a proponent to originality cause that's the intentionality of God for your life it is for this reason that he was fully extended on that cross for you so that you could find your voice you could find your identity in him we cannot all be leaders we cannot all be singers we cannot all be poets we cannot all be presidents we cannot all have the pulpit we cannot all be writers we cannot all be prophets we cannot all be members but we will find what we are 
and what we are we embrace and glorify God so find yourself and find your voice and stop doing things just because everybody is doing it maybe your strength is in your hair Samson you don't have to cut it just because everyone is your inheritance is in your birthright Esau don't be deceived by the hunger to gain wealth and fame and honor and praise you won't die if you just walked in your time zone and waited on God for what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul and again what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul I repeat what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul maybe you were called for such a time as this don't feel comfortable in that comfort zone esther maybe your way to greatness is through that pit joseph or maybe it's through a den of lions daniel just because you slept with another man's wife david and god still calls you a man after his own heart does not mean it's the same with you man of god find your purpose Find your voice.